But we're now going to talk about DJ services. We've got Rick Mitchell with us from Black Diamond Productions. Welcome to our community. Thanks a lot. Appreciate All right. it. Well, today we want to talk uh, about DJ services because there's a lot of people that have questions about it, whether it's, you know, wedding or some kind of function or party or whatever the case is. You know, first of all, Rick, tell me about uh, Black Diamond Productions. Well, Black Diamond came about probably early 2000s. Um, after I graduated from high school and finished college, decided to do like a, a mobile DJ type system. So um, since about 2000, once I moved here to Michigan, um, but I've been DJing since 93 back in high school. But um, as I said, I, I stopped doing that for a while to finish school. And uh, like, a, and after that, that's when I um, decided to do the, the mobile mm -hmm. type DJing. So. And so you do all kinds of functions. What are some of the functions? Well, primarily we, we do um, wedding receptions, things like that. We do private parties. Um, we try to stay away from the club scenes, but um, here locally, I do maybe once a month a club scene just to uh, help promote and um, get people in and help the local business make extra money. So, uh, but primarily wedding receptions is our main goal. Mm -hmm. And really, uh, being a DJ has kind of changed over the years. Uh, now there's a little bit more entertainment. Uh, there's a little less equipment with more output, isn't there? It's amazing. Um, back then, in the early 80s, you, you're messing with the vinyl and things like that. The gigantic speaker is about six feet tall, seven feet tall. Everything is simplified now. It's, everything is digital. I mean, you obviously do still have the old school vinyl and mm -hmm. turntables and things like that. But what they have now is um, they call them the controllers. Um, and it just this one controller that may be three feet long, so high, can do amazing things and all kinds of music all too. kinds of music and you're not hauling around the, the crates with um vinyl on them anymore you either have it on your internal hard drive on your computer or external hard drive mm -hmm. so and uh so what are some of the you know what's some of the favorite music out there right now well it depends on where you're djing at and the locations you are here in the cold water area we have i mean just the r and b you have your country and it depends on what event i'm doing and every reception is different than the one before so you got to make sure you have all types of music which we do so mm -hmm. and uh if there's some kind of music that mm, maybe be a little offbeat it's like hey i know but the bride or the groom or the the host <laughs> asked event. for this song is every that right? event you gotta understand <laughs> And you're working for the bride and the groom, and, and what they want is what you got to do. What I try to do is just explain to the crowd, like, look, hey, this song right here is from the, the bride, so don't come up here attacking me. <laughs> so, But it's all fun. You know, every, everybody likes different things, so you gotta, just got to try your best to keep everyone happy. Mm -hmm. Well, and I was at a party out on the lake uh, one year, and uh, you were doing some DJing, and then uh, everybody's out there dancing. You got out there and showed a lot of the people uh, some of the line dancing, some of the moves, so a lot of interaction, but it was it was just a great night. And that's the thing. you got to be an entertainer as well as a DJ. I'm more of a talker. I go out there and interact with the crowd and, and make sure everyone's having a good time. Mm -hmm. So, And then um, pricing-wise, uh, I mean, the pricing, not just for your, but the DJ services, they go all over the place, well, don't they? Well, most DJs, if this is their main job and what they do for a living, um, thankfully, I have a full-time job. Um, and that's why I call myself the, the affordable the affordable DJ. But um, it can range between a thousand to fifteen hundred for wedding receptions, and, mm -hmm. and that's what a lot of the DJs around here charge. Um, except uh, except me. And like I said, I I'm, I call myself the affordable DJ because I'm here to help out our community and help the ones who's less fortunate to hire a DJ but still have the the quality as the ones you know. Like I said are charging them that much so and you got the lights and the whole package that goes right on with it deal light show um like i said our the equipment i have is top notch uh, and i am bragging about it i just recently upgraded but um and the, the sound quality is just amazing studio sound um as i said the up lightings that i have um, it's, it's amazing. Well, I would uh, give you, um, you know, a thumbs up rate of approval. I will tell you that mm -hmm. because I've been to a number of uh, events and functions and, and a variety of things that uh, you have DJed and it's just been awesome. Uh, if somebody wants to get a hold of you to find out more or if they want to book you, see if you're open for a date, how do they do it? Uh, uh, you can always call. Um, we do have a Facebook page as well. Um, my number is 517-677-2479. And 
if you want the website, not sure if it's going to be listed here. Yeah, we we'll have it listed right on the screen for them. Just follow the screen there, and you can contact us there as well. So, Sounds good. Well, Rick, yeah. thanks for being hey, with us. Thank you. Appreciate you. All right. Rick Mitchell from Black Diamond Productions talking a little bit about uh, DJ services that are available in our community. I'm Tim Hart. Stay with us. we got more coming up.